Hello everybody, welcome to MC Marco Spain channel. This time should like, comment, subscribe, guys. So subscribe. Thank you, thank you, and come back. Um, just want to talk about a few things in the previous game that we played. Yes, I know that I've done the match uh, reaction, but there's a player in particular I wanna speak about that I wanna make as the center of this episode of today. Casting Sireno. Are we too overly reliant on Gaston Sereno. What happens if Sereno is out of the game? Do you have plan B, plan C, plan D, E, F? Do you have other plans when they shut down Gaston Sereno? I know, you know, when a player makes the team tick that we tend to rely on to him, which is like, it's normal in most, um, in most teams. As that is normal in most teams, you always find another player who will always be shoulders above others as well, who will help the main guy, the star team, the go-to guy. You always have another player. Look at your Manchester City, for example. They have your Kevin De Bruyne. But Kevin De Bruyne can start on the bench and you see your good one. They used to have this other guy, Alvarez from the Argentine. Whenever the talent is not performing, or oh, they want to just change things up, they would have such players. You look at your Santans, yes, they lost against Pulugwane, you would say. But if Shalule is not doing well, you have your Rainas. If your Mkulis is not doing well, you have your other players around, like your Mabena and, 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 and so forth and so forth, your Neo and others. You look at your Ando Pirates, you say, no, but he only Tito is making them tick. Look at the other guy who just came out now, it's Kota, I think it's Kota. They also have your Mufu King, they have your Hot, they have other players. Am I being too hard on our team, the fact that we are over reliant on Serena? No, I'm not, but I'm saying that the, the sooner the coach identifies another player who will make the team tick, the better. Yes, you'd say that there's Duba, you say that there's Shabalala, there is your Villagas and all these other guys. However, we have seen, we can't run away from the fact that if Castino is like locked, any other player will suffer around him. Remember that your Dushavala, they come alive if your Castino are around or Castino is the one who's making them play those quick ones, who's including your run. Once Serino is like locked, there's not really much support when it goes to, or the ball that goes to, or balls that goes to a Ranga or that goes to Shabalad. That's why you find your Shabalad dropping too deep, try and find the ball. And then when they switch the play, they switch the ball to who? Because you know if Shabalad switches the ball and switches to Ranga or looks for Seren. So I'm saying that we need to come with a solution. Unfortunately, this is the truth that is standing before us. Against Santos, the game that you lost 2 1, they had shut down. Uh, Sereno. Against Super Sport, they shut down Sereno. I'm not saying we don't have other players hear me well. However, I'm saying that there's always going to be that player who stands above the shoulders of others who is the go to man, and Sereno is that guy for us. But who's going to raise their hand and say that if Sereno is not around, when he's closed down or when he's subbed, I'm going to lift up my hand and say that. Give me the ball. Not players who run and then run to hide or players who hide behind uh, the opponent so that they don't receive the ball. You see them being busy but busy with nothing, with no product productivity. So, are we going to see your Villagas standing up to be counted? Are we going to see your Dusha standing up to be counted and say that if Serena is out of the game, I'm going to lift the team, I'm going to lift my socks, and I'm going to lift the team and put them in my shoulders, and we're going to win this game. So, what's going to happen if Serena is red carded, if Serena is injured, or if he's locked down? Tightly marked. What's going to happen? 
I wish that guys like your Botswana can like quickly come back because your Botswana are the guys that were experienced. Modi, I don't know this season what's happened with him. Like he has dropped. The fact that he has dropped in the pegging order, I don't know if he's working hard behind the scenes because if when he comes in, he gets like few minutes and when he comes in, like he doesn't have enough minutes to do. He was, he was one of our star players in the first half of the league last season. What's gonna happen if Serino is shut down? Potane, if he can come back and the coach give him like a few minutes here and there, he's gonna carry us. He's gonna carry us. I have no problem. I have no fear about that. And then we have guys like your George Macho who can carry the team. We need players who can carry the team at this moment because our team is short when it comes to experience, especially on the game play, on the game day where the starting eleven you'll see that it's a mixture of experience and youth and mainly as youth that we are relying on i mean you're sure not supposed to be playing game in game out 90 minutes when he's still young when they still need to be managed zwan is coming along it's good however we still need to manage him so what's happening with the guys who are experienced who is the solution if serino is shut down you look at his movements, you look at his eye for a pass, you look at his eye for goals. He's really our star player, however, he needs to have someone around him so they can share the pressure and the workload. We can't always have like all our focus and pressure on him. We need other players to come to the party as well. It's not fair on Serin. It's not fair on Serino that we all putting all the pressure on him. Next thing we'll be putting all the blame onto him. Why? Because there are no any other players who are raising their hands to be counted. Yesterday or weekend rather, we needed to knock the ball. We needed to knock the ball. We needed to make chances, create chances without really shooting outside, without crossing so many goals. We needed to just to play those passes, play those passes, unlock that defense through those one, two, and movements, but we lack that. Guys like your Serino can do that. However, if they are not there and not playing well, we need other players who will calm those guys. Like you are shooting so many balls, like you are wasting the balls. Let's knock the ball, draw them, knock the ball, draw them, and then let's shoot once there's a space that is open because now you shoot and then already there are five or six guys who are closing you we need players who are smart who will help us to knock the ball players who tell the guys no let's come play now let's come down let's knock the ball let's move it like with ease let us move it with quick uh, lightning let us slow it down we need players like that and Serino is that guy but who else can we count on this season let me know let me know your thoughts I'm Arts AOC Mokosman Channel. Suddenly here. Bye.